strong man. And what a show we have for you today on Giants Live as the world qualifying tour reaches Leeds and Europe's strongest man. Outside of the World Tour Finals, it is the biggest title in the sport and it features this year a lineup to match with the Polish powerhouse, Mateusz Kieliszkowski, with the freshly crowned Britain's strongest man, Graham Hicks, and above all with the mountain, Hapthor Bjornsson, four-time Euro champion and current world number one. Something special in store then at the First Direct Arena. Leeds. It's not famed for its weather, but it does have a growing reputation for outrageous acts of strength. The Giants Live Europe's Strongest Man has become an annual fixture in the sporting calendar here. And the Sports Direct Arena has become one of Strongman's most atmospheric venues. As ever, a legion of fans have made the pilgrimage here this year. How are you all doing? Providing the contest with a truly unique flavour. Ahead of us, five events featuring all the classic tests of strength and some newer ones that may need a little perfecting. No one has contested the European title more often than this fellow, the miracle man, Mark Felix. But he'll be up against an extraordinary lineup of the sport's biggest stars. They've come from all over the world, ready to do battle, and they come no bigger than this man. Hapthor Julius Bjornsson, the reigning European champion and currently world's strongest man. I feel definitely the best in my life. Um, right now, I feel like I have no weaknesses, and that's the best weapon you can have in strongman. Few men have achieved the level of dominance that Thor now enjoys in the sport, and the European title in particular is one he has made his own. Headingley in 2014 was the scene of his first title. I am the future of strength, and I am killing of this world! Yeah! The following year, he made it two, getting the drop on Britain's big hope, Eddie Hall. In 2017, he again got the better of the beast. And then last year, Thor made it four. To be able to win a show, and then another show, and then another show, and then another show, it's a very hard task to do. Having those that you love beside you definitely motivates me to train better, train harder, and keeps me on my toe to do the extra work that needs to be done to be the best. My parents, my grandparents, my best friendship. My wife. They all come, they all come. And that's something that I am very grateful for. I don't want to let my people down. I want to make sure that um, I still make them proud, you know. As in previous years, event one of this year's Europe's is the World Log Lift Challenge, an event that's attracted some special guests, like Rob Kearney, Britain's strongest man, Graham Hicks, last year's champion, Iron Beebe, and world record power lifter, Larry Wheels. With help from none other than Hapthor Bjornsson, he's another real contender in the log event. But when it comes to the overall European crowd, it is the Icelander who's the man to beat. My plan here overall is to win the show. We have to make sure that you don't push yourself to the absolute limit in each and every event. Oh, uh, there's a lot of guys strong right now, you know. Obviously, Matthias Kielikowski for Poland, he's very strong. Then you can never underestimate the uh, Lauren Shallow, the, the, the man that took my crown once away, you know. You beat the Icelandic, so. <laughs> if he is injury free and shows up in a good shape, you know, he can be a hard man to beat. But. I'll be honest with you, to beat me today, you can't have any weaknesses. 
I was born to do this, I believe, you know. This is what I'm good at. I'm very good at. So, a mountainous task ahead then for Thor's rivals. Let's join our commentators at the First Direct Arena, Colin Bryce and first, Danny Wallace. Thanks, James. And yes, a sold out crowd, all here to see these guys. Stoltman, the Brit from Scotland. And his older brother, Luke, also here. And they're joined by Adam Bishop, strength and conditioning coach at Harlequins. Gets better every year. Genashia, the Georgian Bull. This year with headgear. Mark Felix, the legend, of course. Did you know he's 52? We'll mention that a lot. Shivliakov, the Russian. Kieliskowski, someone else who just gets better with every year that passes. Europe's strongest man, 2016, Laurent Charlet. Strongest man, welcome Hathor, Julius Beyonce. He needs no introduction, but he'd get very angry if he didn't get one. Bjornsson. And as if that wasn't enough, taking part as guests in the log lift, Graham Hicks. From America, the primary school teacher, Kearney. And Larry Wheels, also from America, our only bespectacled contestant. Ladies and gentlemen, and finally, you've not lived since you've seen this guy do a backflip from Burkina Faso, Ian Beebe. So that first event, the World Log Lifting Championships, is being prepared for. And that'll be next. And event one, it's the World Log Challenge. Are we ready? <laughs> Bill, back in the day, you set the world record in this. You'd never even seen the log back then. It was a brutal technique, but nowadays it's pretty refined. And the world record stands over 500 pounds, 228 kilograms. We have the finest collection of men ever put together. No Zadrunas, the world record holder. How do you see this going down today? Well, it's going to come down to a couple of athletes. And for sure, Iron Baby. He's so huge, massive. 28 inch arms, deltoids that are 14 inches thick. He's got probably the best chance. But when you look at Hixie, he's so compact. He's put on so much weight. He's dedicated himself to this lift. He's going to be gunning for the world record. It's going to be a two man shootout with Half Thor right behind him. Yes, all of the limelight has been on Iron Baby. They say. He's done the world record already in training. Hixie, well, he's the dark horse here. He's been very silent in what he's doing, but he's big and strong. Let's see what happens. Let's see indeed. First up was Stoltman, the younger. He goes up in stages. He managed 190 kg, but didn't manage 203. Same story with his older brother. Then it was the turn of the Georgian Bull, Janashia. Now he didn't make it to 2.14, did manage 2.03. The pole was the first one to get through to round five. Followed closely by Rob Kearney. Good lift at 2.14, that was a record for an American. And this, the Graham Hicks, a record for a Brit. So we join the action with, uh, well, a kind of a new character. A new character, Colin. He's 24 from America. Larry Wheels, an internet sensation. Yes, a well deserved one as well. Champion bodybuilder, world record holder in powerlifting. He's only 24. This is his first ever professional strongman contest, and he's going for a, a share of the American record. Well, doesn't manage it, is beaten by it. A great attempt. Extraordinary. Leans back, tries to bench press it, that's what his world record's in. 
On then to Hafthor Julius Bjornsson. Still only 30. Yes, he's a big boy. <laughs> you can hear all the Icelanders shouting away. 10,000 people, but they make themselves heard. Yes, for an Icelandic record. Well, that's surprising. Yeah, I thought he might get that. He suddenly got off his chest. But as he said before, he just wants to do high in every event and win overall. He's not here for the log title. He's here for the European title. So, three go forward. Kieliszkowski steps out and hits the American first. Rob Kearney. He's already broken a record. Can he push it further? Well, this is good. Does he still have the power? No, not quite. I think that was always hopeful. He does a split jerk. Doesn't really spit deep enough. Doesn't get the hit hard enough either. Now, Graham Hicks, he's definitely got the power. 2.14 went up. Probably as easy as anybody's. And another man already, having broken a record today, will want to push it further. Struggling slightly. Yeah, he's almost wasted too much energy. Oh, here we go! Well, will he lock out? He has locked out, but his feet... His feet had moved, Colin. Yeah, they were moving, and then as he got them back in line, he let it go over the back. It was so close. I think he'd have been given that by a lot of judges, but not Magnus van Magnussen, that's for sure. Well, we're expecting great things from Ian BB. This is his bread and butter. He certainly is. And he's supposedly done over the world record, so this should be within himself still. Oh, there we go! <laughs> well, that's why he's a legend in the making. And he wants one more. That puts him number two in the all-time list, behind Zaviskas with that 228 kilos, the world record. He's got to go 229, Danny. Well, this is big. But so is he. So is he. 28-inch arms, pressing that log up. I think he was quite within himself. He's got a crack at this world record. Well, this is what the crowd wants. But he's won the title. And this is for glory now. I mean, he might as well. You know? Otherwise, he's just back on the plane. <laughs> he's not here for the Europe's. Look how broad he is. He weighs over 30 stone. You gotta believe, baby. So, for a new world record, log lifting championships, 229. Do this. 504 pounds. Just couldn't quite do it. Maybe he gave too much of himself Ladies earlier on. But 220. There's his brother there. He has 11 brothers and sisters. I believe he's the biggest. We're in a very difficult labour. But what a competitor. Thank you so much. I'm really sorry about it. But I will definitely be back. I'm very sorry. And uh, thank you all for the support. I really promise you this record. I'm very sorry. There's nothing to be sorry about. Put your hands together for Iron Baby. The man from Burkina Faso retaining the log lift title he shared last year with the beast Eddie Hall. National records elsewhere for Kilifskowski, Hicks and Kearney, with Bjornsson down in fifth. As we bid goodbye now to the guest lifters for our 10 remaining athletes, the battle for the European crown steps up with the 350 kilo axle deadlift for reps. With more, here's our commentators, Danny and Colin. Well, thank you, James. And yes, the axle deadlift, Stoltman. The elder managed four reps. After him, it was the turn of Blackburn's Mark Felix. Great event for him, seven reps. Janashia, after Felix, took the lead with nine reps. And that's where we are now. So the first pairing, after those guys, 
Charlet. Up against, well, another Brit, Adam Bishop. This is a, a mouth-watering clash. Charlet, a former world record holder in deadlift. Bishop, though, is in great form with his deadlift. And although slower on the first pull, he's holding his form and he's already banged three out in ten seconds. Well, Bishop, going from strength to strength. Yeah, like a metronome, just up and down. Perfect technique. Did so well, though, at Britain's strongest man. Didn't he just? Second place there, Charley stops at four. Almost 30 seconds to go. The thing about deadlift is you kind of kind of gas out by about 20, 25 seconds. It's so brutal on the body. He might get one more in this time, maybe two if he's lucky. And he's checking how long he had. He'll definitely get one more. There it is, eight. I don't think he's going to equal Janashia's nine. He's happy with that, though. Eight for Bishop. Just four for Charlet. Still two pairs to come. Yes, indeed. Big Tom Stoltman up next. Yes, the Russian Shevlyakov. And now the struggle to beat that eight reps by Bishop. Perfect technique. Great effort in his favourite event. Well, it's this man's favourite event, too. What isn't at this stage, you know? The Stoltman brothers doing so well, and Shivlyakov with his trademark... Oh, what is that? Special Forces Barry? Yes, indeed, yeah. It was uh, a number of years in the uh, Russian Special Services, and he's tough as you like. Look how quick he is off the floor. Very explosive. This is a strong start from Shivlyakov. I mean, pound for pound, has to just about be the strongest man in the world. He gives away six or seven inches to to big Tom Stoltman. He said that, that's not a bad thing in deadlift. Well, he's pushing himself. He wants to know how much time he's got, what he can pull off here, nine to beat. I'm surprised Tom slowed up so early. I thought he might be close to Bishop on eight. There we go, grinds it out. Shevlyakov. It's a little unstable, shaking enormously there. Well, just over 10 seconds to go. Such a hard man, Shevlyakov. Is anyone going to go for another? Of course he does, the Marine. Well, look at this. No. Doesn't quite do it, does he? No, he didn't have his knees locked out. He didn't have his hips through. He was trying to, trying to bluff it with the referee and give him the <laughs> eyes. Stoltman on six, but let's have a look at that again as he's up there. Come on. You know it's good. <laughs> well, he might pay for that later on, of course. Unnecessarily expended energy. Kieliszkowski. Pole up against Hafthor. Yeah, this feels like the air and the air apparent. Big Hafthor. Look how wide his stance is. He's, that block's got to be about four foot wide. He's out at the edges. His size 17 feet. <laughs> Kieliszkowski's quick at the start. Now, he's got back problems, Kieliszkowski, so... He's obviously trying to blitz it early before the pain kicks in. Oh, look at this from Bjornsson. Just under 40 seconds to go, he's up to seven already. Wow. Just doesn't look that hard, does it? I think he's well within himself here. Number eight. Number nine, if he stops there, he'll equal Janasha if he gets it. Well, there's number nine. 15 seconds to go. Come on, Apthor, give us ten. <laughs> and he does. Well, wow, outstanding from Bjornsson. Takes that event seemingly quite easily. Great work, too, of course, from Kieliszkowski. And, uh, well, I mean, I said it looks easy, but in slow motion, it really doesn't. He's with Kaz. How's your body feeling? You look so strong. Oh, it feels good. <laughs> but what is this? I didn't know I was going to come here and do cardio with you guys. But thank you, guys. Thank you for the support. Let's keep on going. Have to be ladies and gentlemen. 
A little light cardio then for the mountain. Hapthor following his game plan, getting back to winning ways after being beaten in the log and doing just enough to stay ahead of Janashia with Adam Bishop taking third. And Bjornsson now with a narrow lead from Janashia in the overall standings too. Meanwhile, with Graham Hicks exiting after his log success, our remaining British contenders for the European crown all have some catching up to do. Well, event three of Europe's strongest man will see the chain and anchor drag and half-ton tyre flip. That's next on Giants Live. Welcome back. Here at the First Direct Arena, the crowd's so fired up, even the setup crew are getting a cheer. They're getting ready for our next event on Europe's Strongest Man, the Dragon Flip. Head referee Darren Sadler is with Colin, who's hiding shyly behind a tyre. Event number three. We never get tired of this one. It's the tyre flip and drag. And the man, Dr. Evil, who cooks all this up, please talk us through what the guys are going to do in this medley. Well, first of all, there's four flips of this giant tyre which will get the legs all pumped up, ready for the uh, 20 meter drag of the chain and anchor. So yeah, it's a real test of endurance. You're gonna see some, uh, some unhappy men after this one. Well, I mean, you know, technical points here. You, you wanna get down to the tire, get your position quickly for the flip. You don't wanna be fumbling. And then of course, the more chain you get off the floor, the less friction. I speak like an expert. Let's see what happens. Let's see indeed the flip and drag. First up was Adam Bishop up against Shibliakov. Bishop got that tyre up there. He managed it all in 56.41. Whereas Shibliakov managed 49.51 seconds. And Stoltman, 45.47. He leads this event so far. We join the action then with Luke Stoltman, who's going to be up against Poland's Kieliszkowski, who again, in the past few years, just seen get better and better. He's brought some fans with him this time. A flip and drive, first pair, event number three in Europe. And then we're off, Colin. 500 kilos of tyre. To get her hands down. Kick with an E and over. In unison at the moment. And using some of that momentum as well, just to get just a few extra inches. There it is. Kieliszkowski spotting his grip early and not missing a beat at the moment. Now, how many chain links can he get up off the ground? That makes all the difference. Very good from Stoltman, though. He's slightly heavier. Mass pulls mass. Well, look at this, though, from Kieliszkowski. Really going for it, has to get the whole thing over the line. It's going to be tight. Manages it, 43.14 seconds, and Stoltman... Just the other side, I'm afraid. Whoa. So he goes into third position. Well, I thought Stoltman was catching there, but the yeah. fitness of Kieliszkowski, tremendous. On to Hafthor Bjornsson, then. But if mass pulls mass, 195 kilos, 32 stone, that ought to help. And of course, Janashia, not doing badly either. Bit of a lightweight at 26 stone. <laughs> well, the power now from Bjornsson. The sheer height of the man. Slow down to it though, he's so thick in the chest and midsection nowadays, but <laughs> when he's down there, it's easy. Just grim determination on Bjornsson's face. Well, you think it's all levers, but he's just that much taller, six foot nine. Here we go now. He doesn't even bother picking up the second link, just goes for it. Well, maybe that was a mistake. I'm taking a change to that area. You know, that, that would hurt, but he's back on his feet. The speed is up, doing extraordinarily well there. You have to think that if he hadn't stumbled, perhaps he'd have taken this. Yep, 43-14, Maskiliskovsky is just outside at second. And Genesia, what's happened here? Kind of ground to a halt for a moment. I think it's all that body weight he's put on this year. It's good for deadlifting, not so good for the fitness stuff. 
57.19 for the Georgian. And a few little stumbles, not just from Genesia, but obviously from Hafthor. Other people have benefited from those little mistakes. I think in 2016, for example. And you have to wonder why they don't just roll those tyres. Anyway, Collins with Kieliskowski now. Ah, you can smile. Yeah, I am very happy. I like race events. <laughs> but but how is how is pain in back? Mm, I not feel pain because it's big adrenaline, so I not feel. I do not feel pain. Pain is for wimps. Great, great stuff. Now, Hercules hold, how's the grip? I have I think I have good good grip, so I will do my best. Thank you for support. First place for the Polish powerhouse Bjornsson despite the four finishing second, the Invergordon Goliath Tom Stoltman in third, just ahead of his older brother Luke, with Janasia trailing in seventh. And that drops the Georgian to third overall, as Kieliskowski moves up to second, three and a half points back from Bjornsson, who's beginning to exert his usual grip on the competition. And speaking of grip, our next event is the Hercules Hold, an agonizing test of endurance with two giant steel pillars with a pulling power of 200 kilos in each hand. Who can hang on the longest? Over to Danny and Colin. Well, thank you, James, and yes, the Hercules Hold. Kieliskowski managed to hold these at arm's length, remember, for 40 seconds. Shibliakov managed 43.34. Then it was the turn of Bishop, 44.3. After him, well, Charlet took his turn, managed to hold on. Not for much longer, but enough to count. 46.56 seconds. So we move on. Making those adjustments. To the mighty Mark Felix. A man known for his incredible grip. Yes, the Hercules hold. Something that's happened at World's Strongest Man before. And well, just over a minute is unbelievable. It's only happened a few times. And Felix is one of those men that can do it. He's got an extraordinary grip. Still works six days as a plasterer, as well as doing professional strongman. So, not scared of hard work, Felix. As well as endurance, of course. There's balance. There is with this one. They don't uh, lock at the top, so you can sway backwards and forwards. Of course, he's got a 13-inch wingspan to his hands. It's quite extraordinary. Well, he's approaching Charlet's time of 46.56. Looks set to beat that considerably. Yeah, he could well do the minute here. He's starting to have a little shake. That's the telltale sign. The lactic acid's kicking in, but he's in the zone. Well, he looks like he's going to blast through that minute. How much longer can he go? This could be a best ever. Amazing. Well, one minute 11 by Tom Omit back in 05 the best ever. Come on, Felix. Yes, he's done it. Yeah, he's through that. He won't let go. <laughs> Unbelievable. He's pulled him back. He had a wobble there. He's still hanging on. <laughs> there you go. That's an extraordinary achievement from Mark Felix. I mean, he had to let go one day, didn't he? It'll be ridiculous otherwise. <laughs> His right hand didn't let go. He got pulled off the platform. <laughs> Phenomenal. Well, a new record there set by Britain's Mark Felix. Well done, crowd. They were roaring him on there. I think they're very much a part of that. Let's go hand Mark this one to Neil. Felix, ladies and gentlemen, Mark, that's an incredible time, mate. You walk into the arena at 52 years of age and you blow the world record out of sight. That's got to make you feel good, mate. Thank you. Yeah, it's a great event for me. I, I was looking forward to this event. I was doing a lot of grip training, and those handles are perfect for me. So, yeah, I was looking forward to it. Now, Mark, obviously, you seem to shut yourself away there. You're in a very, very calm frame of mind, way past the 40 mark. And then this arena just ignited. How much of a push does that give you? Well, you have to, put, you have to focus on something. I was focused on just breathing. 
and that's, that's all it takes. Breathe and just hold as tight as you can. We don't want this guy to retire, do we, ladies and gents? Let's keep him coming back. Ladies and gentlemen, a new world record for the phenomenal, ageless Mr. Mark Felix. Well, it was that left hand that just slipped in the end, Danny. He held on, looking so cool for so long, but at about 50 seconds, that's when the shake kicked in. He still didn't want to let go. No, one minute 22. Phenomenal from Felix. Well, that's given Hapthor something to think about. I just wonder whether if Hapthor's even remotely got that in him, and that's quite a unique feat by Felix, whether he'll actually attack it, because for him, a second place is almost a win. He'll just keep him going, and he won't want to lose too much energy. It's all about the title for him. Well, he's got, certainly got some enthusiastic family members. By enthusiastic, I mean terrifying. <laughs> Uh, that's, that's his darling wife, I'd be careful, <laughs> shouting him on there. And uh, he has already got a bit of a wobble on here. He's leaning back instead of leaning forward. I wonder if that's tactical. Trying to get the air in, but he's not opened his mouth up. The air's not a problem, that's for sure. See, 40 seconds now, when you think only halfway towards what Felix has done. <laughs> he looks pretty casual. No, he doesn't. Actually, that's a grimace of pain. 52, 53. I think you'll do enough for second. Well, that's that from Hapthor. I mean, still far better than I could do. But 55.13 seconds, that's when the pillar hit the pad. And that's his time. Good enough for second. He's happy. He's holding up the number one finger. Ah, give it a rest. He did very well. Well, the number one finger up because... That second place will keep him right on track with one event to go for another European title and certainly gave it his all. Mark Felix, ladies and gentlemen, 52 years of age and setting a new world record, hanging on for nearly half a minute more than Bjornsson in second. Elsewhere, it was better from Charley, but a disastrous event for Kiliskoski, who's now nine and a half points behind the Icelander. Shivliukov and Janashia now share third. Tom Stoltman sits fifth, still with an outside chance of a podium spot. So, with a mighty lead, Bjornsson looking well-placed to take a fifth title here at the Europe's. Our athletes are stripped off and ready for the final event, the Atlas Stones. That's next on Giants Live. Welcome back. Here at the First Direct Arena, our massive crowd has already witnessed records galore. Now they wait to see who will be awarded the coveted trophy and title of Europe's Strongest Man. With the final event about to get underway, let's take a look at the overall standings. With Bjornsson needing only to lift a single stone to take a fifth title, the real fight is between Kiliskoski and Shivlikov, Janasha and Tom Stolman for the other podium positions. Back to Danny and Colin. Thanks, James. Yes, the Atlas Stones, the marquee event. 200 kilos, the heaviest stone. Each one has to be lifted and placed on these plinths. First up, Bishop managed two. 16.63 seconds, then Mark Felix managed four in 29.15. And then he took his shirt off and he walked around in slow motion. So we move on then to Luke Stoltman, currently placed sixth. And he'll be taking on, well, his little brother, Tiny Tom. And please don't tell him I called him that. So, the Stoltmans or the Stolt men facing off against one another. Well, it's older Luke on the right hand side, big Tom, six foot eight on the left. And look at that! The Albatross, he was quickest in the stones at Britain's strongest man. And well, after the troubles of Bishop and even Felix, who normally finishes all five, he's gonna be the man to do it, that's for sure. Well, look at this from Tom, absolutely brilliant. You'd think this would make dinner awkward, but Luke is <laughs> incredibly proud of his little brother, isn't he? Oh, very much so. And I say little brother, <laughs> doesn't seem quite right to call him that. 
Eight or nine years younger, but uh, a whole lot bigger. Oh, come on, Luke, you can do this. I think he can do this if he just gets his tacky, that glue right. It's a massive stone, it's 200 kilos, it's heavier than it was at the Britain's Strongest Man. Look at the circumference of that. There we go. And he's done it. What a great moment, not just for Luke, but for the Stoltman boys. Five stones, 57.31 seconds, and all with the encouragement of his brother. That's my brother, he's saying. So proud of his younger brother. Certainly is. Maybe now he will share his fake tan with him. <laughs> Finally, Colin. <laughs> Finally, indeed. As well as you can do a little tan too, Danny. Zip it. I mean, watching this guy do stones, it's so demoralizing. You know? <laughs> he's one of the, the best stone lifters in the planet that's ever lived, period. He's going to be one of the best strong men that's ever lived, period. So, so it's a privilege to share the stage in front of all you guys with my younger brother. Honestly, I could, I could get emotional. It's just, uh, you know, dreams come true. It really is. So, master thank you guys. Love you to bits, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Scotland is known for its warriors. We've got two of them here, and we absolutely love them. Raise it up for the Stoltman brothers, Luke and Tom. Wow, that was remarkable. Well, brilliant work from the Scotsman there. And the penultimate pairing. Well, Shivliakov from Russia, tied third right now. Who's he tied third with? Well, conveniently enough, with the man right next to him, Janashia. So this is a battle for the podium, Colin. Yeah, I mean, even a battle for the silver if uh, Kieliszkowski makes a slip. And what's he whispering to him at the last? Yeah, they are pals. It's romantic, isn't it? And they're off. I think Shevnikov's such a good guy. He only wants the best for his competitors, though. So now they're on the way. He wants to win, but look at Janashia. That height advantage, and he's so powerful off the ground. He's got a comfortable lead at the moment. What's he waiting for, though? Well, Shivliakov almost having to launch these stones onto the plinth. He's always smiling, isn't he? He's having a laugh at the problems he's having, and Janashia seals the deal. Well, look at that. Good work from Janashia. All eyes, then, on the Russian. Well, uh, that tacky glue, it's like a a pine resin that comes out of trees, and uh, you really need it to stick to these big spherical stone balls. Well, 10 seconds left. Come on, Shevlyakov. Janashia trying to encourage him, but no, Shevlyakov's had enough. Four stones in 34.69 seconds. I think he knew he was going to get beaten by Janashia there. He took that one on the chin. He tried his best, but he's a few inches shorter. <laughs> And Janashia doing all five. Well done. Guarantees him bronze, Danny. That's that's how strong men hug. Well, the final pairing then. And it's Bjornsson. He's pretty much got this in the bag. Well, he has got this in the bag, hasn't he? As long as he picks up a stone. Yes, indeed. Kieliszkowski, he looks the nervous one. That's because he's got Janashia snapping at his heels, just a point and a half behind. All five on, and Kieliszkowski will be good. Well, generally, he's a very fast starter. As you can see. You're right. But does he have the power to put the fifth one on? Slow and steady from Bjornsson. He'll, he'll, he's certainly got the power if he wants it. Well, this is a fast time so far. Already looking at Europe's strongest man there on the left. Doesn't quite do enough to beat the 5 and 21, 81. But he's done enough for the silver medal, Danny. Well, he certainly has, and look at that. Five, you say. Five times Europe's strongest man, Hafthor Julius Bjornsson. 
so powerful. He only needed three stones in the end to seal off the deal to take his fifth title. Well, how great to see a Brit. Tom Stoltman at the top of the Atlas Stones, followed by Kuliszkowski and Janashia. And that, of course, takes us to the final leaderboard. And Stoltman is in fourth. But the top three, Janashia, Kuliszkowski, and Hafthor Bjornsson is Europe's strongest man. So receives his trophy now. Remarkable achievement. Standing next to Kuliszkowski and Janashia. Popular winner, and he's delighted. Literally sparking with joy. Well, Janashia, Kieliszkowski, Bjornsson, big names on top of the podium. Stoltman, young Tom just to the side. Well done him, but today it's about Hapthor's fifth. What a man. Well, we can't just end the show like that, Colin. I mean, that was a nice ending and everything, but it needs a little something extra. What were you thinking, Danny? A series of macho shots put to music? Behold! The Mantage! Let's keep on going. Who am I? I'm the greatest. Who am I? I'm so flagrant. We are on the way. Mark Felix crossing the old world record. Who am I? Wow! The place goes nuts! Well, plus one for Thor makes five. And with Bjornsson and Kiliskowski and Janasha now booking their flight to the final, hope I'm not in their row, we next time will be heading west on Giants Live to Martinsville, Indiana for the North American Open. Always a lot of fun, that competition, so we'll see you for that soon. For now, though, it's goodbye.